I know there are a lot of people out there who are in love with the Airbus A380 and despite the bad media that the plane gets, the A380 does deserve the respect and the recognition. But we're getting to a point within the aviation market where things are changing. We're moving towards more fuel efficient aircraft and the need for double decker 4 engine planes is slowly dying out. It's even gotten to the point where there is no longer any use for the airline and it's being sent to the scrapyard. But at the time when the A380 was launched, the Airbus company envisioned that the plane would revolutionize the market. Demand for air travel was ever growing and the success of the Boeing 747 gave Airbus an idea to penetrate this market and take some of the market share that Boeing currently had. At the time when the idea was put pen to paper, the largest aircraft that Airbus offered was the A300. They were also developing the A330 and also the A340, but this wouldn't be enough to rival the giant of the 747. So the years rolled on and Airbus studied the market and they projected that demand would grow to an extent that it would be difficult to carry a large volume of passengers due to aircraft slot restrictions. Now after many years of studying and research and development, Airbus finally launched the A380 as the A3XX. They knew that the plane would do well within the Asian market and they could use a clever tactic of naming the A380 with the number 8 because in some Asian countries, the number 8 is seen as a lucky number. Nevertheless, the company gained 50 orders at the time of its launch with airlines such as Singapore Airlines and Virgin Atlantic. Now in the eyes of Airbus, this was deemed as a success. Before going into the launch, they weren't exactly sure on how the world will receive the plane, but one thing is for sure, it did capture the attention of Boeing. But the whole program wasn't immune to problems. In fact, problems came in their waves at the time of production. Due to the complexity of the plane, the entry of the A380 was delayed due to securing over 300 miles of wiring. These delivery delays proved to be costly for Airbus and were expected to cost up to $5 billion. There was a point where the launch customer Singapore Airlines was considering cancelling their order for the plane because the plane was causing havoc with their projected operations due to the delay. Now you can think of a similar story regarding the 787 Dreamliner and all Nippon Airways. Nevertheless, the plane was delivered in 2007 and it was flown from Singapore to Sydney. Now fast forward to the last couple of years and the total number of orders that the A380 has gained is 290 with 237 planes delivered, according to Wikipedia. It goes without saying that Emirates is the largest operator of the plane and we can see them utilizing the aircraft for many years to come. That's until when the Boeing decide to release the 777-10X. Orders have stagnated over the last couple of years and Emirates is the only airline keeping the A380 program alive. But we know that will only last for a short while since news hit the headlines that the A380 will cease production. It also couples with the fact that the A380 aftermarket is relatively poor. Depreciation is fairly astonishing when you consider that a new A380 carried a $300 million price tag back in 2007 when the planes were being built while a new A380 today has a list price of $445 million. According to Reuters, it costs $40 million to refurbish a used A380's interior and that's a major turnoff for customers in the second-hand market who might be considering ordering the A380. It's gotten to the point that airlines are now seeing the plane as an opportunity to take parts such as the engines, the landing gear, the flaps and many more important instruments. It's also saddening to see that the plane is being sent to the scrapyard, but unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. There's no doubt about it that more A380s will probably follow the same path as Air France is looking to reduce the A380 fleet. So, all in all, the A380 is an iconic aircraft that will be around for some time as Emirates continue to take delivery of them. However, without a strong aftermarket for the A380, the sun seems to be setting on the age of this marvel of engineering.